of the impact Odell Owens had on Greater Cincinnati. Just witness the outpouring of love shown at his memorial service today. People waited up to an hour just to get inside Corinthian Baptist Church for the visitation and memorial service that featured the Hamilton County Color Guard and tributes from city, county, and state leaders. On this week's Let's Talk Cincy, we dedicate the entire show to this community voice, silenced too soon. I want my resume to really reflect and the message from my resume is that in the ninth grade, I was told by a college counselor after flunking out of Walnut Hills that I was too poor and too dumb to go to college for me to take class and shop. That's what I want young kids to understand that no one should put you in a box. No one should write you off. The fact that I can, that I've been involved in medicine, education, a uh, variety of other things because Odell got educated. And that's the message I wanted young kids to have. You know, Curtis, my involvement in the community was never from an oath uh, or a pledge. It's from a promise to my heart that that kid that came from the West End that had nothing, hit rock bottom. When I flunked out of Walnut Hills, my family was rock bottom. And yet, I've, I've gotten some modicum of success because people helped me. And I never gave up my, my, my faith that I wanted to go to college. I wanted, I didn't want to be poor in the West End. Second part of my resume, I want people to know I'm not the diamond in the rough. I am the rough. And what I tell young people all the time, how can calculus or physics been tough when you live the life that you've lived? When you've gone days without eating, you may not have electricity, you may not have the best of clothes, you had no love at your house, you were teased, you cried at night. How can anything that a teacher put in front of you be hard when you've already had that? I've always told young people, never let your past dictate your future, but always make it a part of you. And that's what I've used. I've used my past to be a part of me. And so I had those tough times at Yale or Harvard. Nah, can't be. I've already been. I've already been there. This isn't going to be hard. Yeah, you know, he was always so passionate about uh, just being an advocate for the community, especially for young people. And as I told the folks today, Odell's life is a reminder that impossibilities vanish with faith and hard work. It took Odell Owens from the West End to Harvard and Yale. Let's talk since he airs tomorrow night at 730. I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News.